Hello friends, welcome to Hello English. My name is Rupam and in today's video we will discuss about how we can learn English correctly. What is the correct way to learn English? And we will learn where to start and how to start learning English. So, I made a video yesterday. If you have not seen, please check it out. In that video, I have discussed about what is survival English. Let me explain you in brief. Suppose you are in a group of few people. You guys are talking to yourself. Someone is asking you some question. You are replying. You are asking some question. Someone is replying. In this way, the basic conversation is going on and you all are comfortable. This is survival English where we don't require too many sentences. Few sentences, some yes or no can help you. This is survival English. We also learned the correct way of learning English. The first one which we discussed was Many people tell us, learn grammar, grammar, grammar to be fluent in English. So for speaking English fluently, we don't require so much of grammar. Also, many people think that to be fluent, we have to speak very fast. That is also not correct. Okay, so this is what we discussed in the last video, which we will need here also. Now, as we have learned about the survival English, Let's come to step number one. Here you will learn some basic words like hungry. With hungry, you can express like I need food or thirsty means you need water. Someone will tell you you go and get the water from there or someone will get the water for you. When someone asks you where is Angelina, you understood right? The question you will reply dancing these words the way you say it is not correct it is incomplete but still you managed to handle the situation now try to make two three two to three word sentences okay single word is done now try to make two to three word sentences instead of just hungry you can say I am hungry I am thirsty. Angelina is dancing. Like this, your basic survival English will improve. Next, you have to start thinking in English. So how we speak? First, our mind search for the word. Then it processes those words, makes sentences, and then we are able to speak. At the beginning, when we start learning English, we always use our mother tongue to think and then translate in English, right? But there is a process. This will help you. This will force your mind, your brain to start thinking in English. For this, let me share with you one example. Okay, take up some small, small words related to you. Okay, suppose the whole day what you will be doing. You just think brush, you think shower, breakfast, then what you will do? Just think. Dentist, maybe you want to go to dentist. Lunch, Angelina, movie, dinner with parents. Now you got the basic words in your mind. Now try to make small, small sentences with this. Suppose you can say, I will brush my teeth. After that, I will take shower. Then I will have my breakfast. After breakfast, I will go to the dentist. I will come home and have lunch. In the evening, I will meet my friend Angelina. Both of us will go for a movie. I will come and have dinner with my parents. So all these sentences are small, small. You can think in your mother tongue and start translating in your 
in English. Follow this habit for some time. Slowly, slowly, your mind, your brain will be trained to think in English. Maybe after some time you will see that you don't need translation. You are able to think in English. I can tell you, if you keep practicing these habits, four weeks, from three to, three to four weeks time, you will be able to start thinking in English. Next, the third step is that try to learn some fixed phrases. Fixed phrases helps us a lot to frame many sentences. So based on situations, these fixed phrases helps us. Suppose I'm in a bank. So what all phrases you can use? You can use like where is, where is the bank? So where is, is a fixed phrase. Okay. So now with where is, you can make the sentences. Like where is the bank? Where is the bank manager? Where is the hotel? Where is Angelina? Another fixed phrases I can remember. Could you give me? Which you can use in the bank. Could you give me a deposit form? Could you give me your phone number? Could you give me a minute? Could you give me the pen? Got it? Another fixed phrase which you can use in the bank is I want to. I want to withdraw money. I want to meet the bank manager. I want to buy a TV. I want to buy some shares. See, with one fixed phrase, we can make so many sentences. Do you have any fixed phrase in your mind? If you have, share in the comment so that your comment others can read and they can also learn. Now, once you're comfortable with this sentence formation, the basic part, go to grammar. Take out some time for grammar. What will happen? You will be able to join sentences. It will help you to make long, long sentences. Once you get the idea of this grammar, once you learn grammar, the basic grammars, you can make sentences like, before you say it, right? I am hungry. That's all. Now you can say, I'm hungry. Let's go and have some food. You said, I'm thirsty. You can say, I'm thirsty. Please give me some water. You also said, Angelina is dancing. You can say now, Angelina is dancing with her sister. So once you find yourself comfortable with basic grammars, basic English sentences, you can move on to advanced words and advanced sentences. So with these steps, you will be able to speak English fluently without any mistake. So what are the correct ways to learn English? Number one, learn some basic words. After that, try to think in English. Learn fixed phrases. Then you can learn grammar. And also, for fluency, you need to develop your pronunciation. Remember, learn phrasal verbs. Learn English idioms. Learn smart words. This all will help you in your English learning process. My dear friend, this cannot be done in one or two days. It's, it's a continuous journey. It takes time. So you need to enjoy what you are learning. Just don't be bored and just don't give up. It is very easy to give up. But if you are consistent, if you practice regularly, it doesn't take much time. And if you are happy what you are learning, if you are enjoying, the learning process becomes so easy. So I wish you all the very best. Thank you so much.